So hello and welcome back to another video and in, in today's video we're we'll reviewing the new coin set you can get from Woolworths. You can also buy it from coin shops, you can buy it from the Royal Australian Mint, you can buy it from a lot of places and they cost $15 for $10 worth of coins. So uh, a lot of people are asking are these going to be low mint? Uh, no, if we look at the previous folder so this is the 2020 uh oh where is it in circular there oh, here we go two dollar coin folder paralympics australia so we've got 150,000 of them so that's the actual paralympic two dollar coin so here's the actual coins they issued in circulation two million and 150,000 in the actual folders and here we have the $2 Olympic coins, uh, mintage of 2 million, and the folders, they made 400,000. So there's quite a lot of folders. So these are not going to be rare or scarce. Uh, 2 million, 400,000. That's a common coin or a common set. And don't worry about $2 uncirculated coin collection, Australian Olympic Okay, mint collection. So it's a different set. So 400,000, uh, that's basically, I reckon that they're going to issue probably that many of these three, 400,000, depending how popular they are. Now, you should be able to go down to your Woolworths and get these sets, so, but what I don't like is the actual coin pack. I know Australia's colours are green and gold, uh, but, you know, them grading into each other, it just doesn't look good. Green and yellow together uh, it's just not a good color uh, they need something to separate it probably a blue or maybe different shades of green or just a border anyway then we got you know i'm not a big fan of this type of art but anyway uh, these are what is represented on the one dollar coins so if we take Okay, we take that one, the girl of the, I think she's doing gymnastics with a baton. You can see the actual pattern is, it's a bit hard to see there. So, the pattern is there. So, that is uh, pretty much a description. You should know. You, you, so, this is mountain biking, looks like. Um, that's, they're both probably a form of freestyle. Probably different distances. They've got weights, basketball, rugby. Um, I think it's badminton. Little ball table, table tennis. This guy pretending he's got wheels. Oh my god, no, that's disgusting. Uh, uh, we have slow ball, boring, cricket. Is there any aerial ping pong? No, you got badminton. No aerial ping pong. I'm referring to the AFL. Anyway, there's lots of different sports. Uh, and you've got information on here. And let's have a look at the actual coins themselves. So if you wanted to, you can actually take these out. So they're in a plastic folder. And... If you wanted to, you can actually pop these coins out, which, you know, plastic doesn't look good in videos. It actually makes it hard for you to see the coin. So you just pop one out, and there you go. So if we actually see the S coin, so AUS for Australia, the colour pattern is pretty simple this time. Just got three yellow stars and a green background. Yes, so there's no real imagination in this design. On this side, 2020, you can see there's a lot of scratches on that coin. Uh, so these are just taken from the actual probably stockpile that they used for uh, issuing circulation. And these ones too, you can see there is some damage on there. And let's have a look at that coin. Excellence. So that's okay. Let's have a look at the rest. 
I'll just pop them all out. I only got one set because actually I didn't get it, my wife did. And thank you very much. So uh, I'm wearing gloves. It makes it a bit hard to actually handle the coins. So this one has the coat of arms, so has an emu and kangaroo. Only two dollars. This one's a bit rotated, so the the colour pattern on these is probably all rotated, so uh that wouldn't make it any worth a higher value. So the U has the main star that represents all the states in the Federation. Commonwealth Games team. And yeah, that one's also damaged. So I think this week you can actually get the A coin in circulation in the change. If you go there. Uh, but I'm not even going to bother. Two million, yeah. These have never really been a popular coin with people. Okay. The one dollars are only issued in the actual coin packs. That one looks a pretty good grade. Then we have... Yeah, that's not too bad a coin. These are not really too bad. I actually quite like them. They have made worse coins than this before. And... So, if you get one of these in your change, uh, there's probably a few reasons why. Either someone's brought a pack of these and just spent the coins. Or, the a Woolworths or wherever they are, uh, selling them. Just couldn't sell these packs, so they decide just to break it up and use it as change. Because Woolworths probably get these for face value. I don't know, you, you can't really get information on the agreement between the Mint and Woolworths. So the mint doesn't class these as coins issued for circulation. That's why they don't put them on the $2 coin lots uh, uh, page on their website. You have to go to these. I think they're classed. Yeah, they're classed as a war with some private issue. Although they still are legal tender. And yeah. Anyway, let me know what you think about this set. Um... Compared to the actual other coin sets they issued, this one is, yeah, not as good. I would say that the Possum Magic is probably the best. Uh, it's just a really well designed coin and good executed. Really not as, but none of them are as good as the Eternal Flame. I think that's 2017, so five years ago. That was a really good way of printing the actual ink. This is pretty simple, two colours, basic design, and going to be common in your change sooner or later, unless you live somewhere without a Woolworths. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my video. Hope this helps you with your coin collecting. Just remember, $15 for the next six months, probably don't pay more than that, unless you live in the countryside or somewhere where you have no choice but to buy them on the internet. Then, you know, you can still buy them from the Royal Australian Mint. But if you're going to pay $10 postage, you're probably better off buying a few things. Uh, coin shops, same thing. They usually charge about $10 postage. So you're better off also buying a few things as well. Just to reduce the postage charge. Because most of them just charge you $10 and anything over, they cover it. And have an awesome corner, but no collecting time. Thank you and goodbye.